when I start off painting, I prefer to start off from the inside and make my way out. When I start painting off the skin tones, I prefer to do a simple zenithal lighting. I start off by doing a base coat of rosy shadow, followed by rosy skin, then fair skin as my main overall color, and then some fair highlight, and then finally some pure white as the overall top lighting. The white brush that you see me using over here right now is the fine brush from Army Painter. It's really really good for doing a lot of small details because it has a really really fine tip and it's pretty damn cheap. With the face now completed, now we're about to start working on the eyes. What I used to do when I started painting off the eyes was I would paint the entire eye white and then put a black dot in there. Now I usually start off by making the entire eye space black and you'll see why in a second. Now I apply the white paint over the blackened eye space and then after that I put a nice large black dot in the center of that. The black dot ends up being the iris for the eye and the white space ends up being the overall eye color and the black space that we initially started off with ends up being the overall boundary of the eye and it helps make the eye a lot bigger than what it actually looks like. At this point, the difficult stuff is basically taken care of. All you need now is just the color gray, some red for the armor, and you're basically ready to go. 
Right now I'm applying the Attributor Armor for the base color for the shiny bits on the armor. And then after that I'm going to put the Auric Armor Gold on it. Me personally, I don't think this miniature is uh, detailed enough, especially on the uh, golden plating side, to bother with the shading. For the cape, I went with a Gal Vorback red, as this color fits in with a lot of my other army colors. Since the cape is huge, I applied 6 base coats of Gal Vorback red, and then I put some null oil on it after the base coat has dried off. Once the null oil itself was also dry, I then applied the Gal Vorback once again to clean up any of the parts of null oil that I did not like. When I started off with the sword, I started off with a base coat of lead belcher. Then for some of the areas on the false edge, I applied some iron hand steel on it as that area on the false edge would catch a lot more light. Then for some of the sharper bits of the sword, specifically the true edge of the sword, I applied some iron warriors.
for the hair, I started off by doing Abaddon Black. I made about 5 coats of this color. Once it was dry, I dry brushed some Eschen Grey, followed by another dry brush of Administratum Grey. Personally, I think if you can get away by doing the highlights with the dry brushing, instead of by doing the edge highlighting, always go for the dry brush. The Eschen Grey was dry brushed onto all the raised areas of the hair, and the Administratum Grey was applied to only the top flat areas of the hair. Once the hair colors were all dried up, I went back to the face and I cleaned up any areas that had the hair color applied to them by repainting them with their corresponding skin colors. 